So setting up click tracks uh, in the tracks for ECC on Ableton Live 9. The way we have it set up right now is you're going to have four separate buses essentially. Again, perk and your effects one, pads and bases all in another, leads is in a third one, and then the click and cues is all coming down a fourth one. You have a few things to do if you're going to set up and you need to adjust any of the routing is head over to live, click on preferences, on the Mac, on the PC, you're going to have to go to Options and then down to Preferences, but it'll get you to the same place. You're going to click on Audio, and it'll take you here. So you go to Audio Output Device. Here I have selected the Personas. That's at the Eagle Campus. Uh, Surprise Valley has a Motu. Um, so click on that. Make sure it's now routed there. And it's going to give me some new options. Before, it would just show me 1 and 2 because it's internally routed to just the speakers on the MacBook. But now I have it routed to the Personas and its four outputs. So for Perkin effects, you click on one. For bass and pads, you click on two. For leads, it's going to be coming out three. Click and cues coming out four. And this is for all campuses and all venues. Um, if you're having trouble, sometimes it'll be set to master, which won't give you that bottom option there. So make sure you go to external app. And then it'll show you how to get to um, kind of custom routing. You click on one. Over here, you have cue out. Uh, you really don't have to worry about that or the master, just leave the master as one and two, but cue out, set it to four. If for some reason you wanted to um, use the internal metronome of Ableton, you could, um, and now it'll just tell it to go out your uh, click cues bus.